Puerto Rico says it's scrapping controversial power contract. The Puerto Rico Electric Power Company canceled Sunday a controversial $300 million contract it had signed with a small Montana-based company and tasked with a central role in repairing the territory's hurricane-ravaged electric grid. The move came after Gov. Ricardo Roslo said the contract was a distraction and should be canceled after critics in the electric power industry. Congress and the Federal Emergency Management Agency raised questions about whether the company, Whitefish Energy, was well equipped to respond to the hurricane damage. 39 days after Hurricane Maria hit the territory, Roslow said that he would request assistance from Florida and New York under mutual aid arrangements that utilities activate to help other states during an emergency. About 80 percent of the people living on the Commonwealth's main island still have no electricity. More scrutiny urged. Ricardo Ramos, executive director of the Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority, or PREPA, said Whitefish would be paid to complete ongoing work on a transmission line. He defended his agency in the deal, citing Puerto Rico's emergency needs. The best thing that can happen is its cancellation. Ramos said, but the investigations will continue. In tweets, Roslo also called for measures to scrutinize contracting by the power authority more carefully. He said there should be a special outside coordinator to monitor the utilities' purchases so we can have more clarity in this process. The governor's statements, however, added to the confusion about the oversight of the utility in the Commonwealth both of which are bankrupt. A financial oversight board that Congress created for Puerto Rico is planning to ask a federal court for clear authority to examine contracts as small as $10 million. The federal judge is overseeing the restructuring of Puerto Rico's more than $70 billion in debts. Just last week, the oversight board said it would use its existing authority to install its own emergency manager to pay closer attention to the day-to-day -day operations of the utility. The governor is opposing the appointment and said he would name his own administrator. Whitefish Energy, which had just two employees the day Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, now has about 325 people working on restringing transmission lines clearing debris and erecting fallen poles. It has been working under contract with PREPA. Zinc denies role. Whitefish Montana is the home of Interior Secretary Ryan Zinc, although the company said he played no role in securing the business. One of Zinc's sons worked for Whitefish Energy over the summer. The company's chief executive, Andrew Tetrinsky, has extensive experience in the electric transmission business. But the company has focused mostly on unsuccessfully trying to set up a plant to manufacture transformers. It has also received small grants from the Energy Department. It is backed by HBC Investments Partners Fund, a Dallas-based private equity firm whose members have a long record of financial support for the Republican Party.